Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Victorinox Spartan. And as you can tell, I ended up with a couple of Victorinox Spartans. Now, the reason I have these in the bag is what happened was I found, I wanted to try replacing the scales on Swiss Army knives because I was curious about how to do it. And I had some knives that I was, I wanted to replace the scales on. So I figured what I'd do is I would get some to test out. And what I'd found was I found an auction with five Spartans and five Climbers for like $35. So 10 Swiss Army knives to experiment on for $35. And I figured, yeah, it's worth a shot. Now, the Spartan, it's kind of like, I don't know. It feels like it's in the range with like the Cadet and the Recruit where you might consider it like a starter Swiss Army knife. Like the first Swiss Army knife you get and you know you decide if you like it or you don't like it or whatever. And it's not a bad knife and it, it's really, really affordable for what you get. They run about, you know, twenty, twenty five dollars. Sometimes even less than twenty bucks. So they're not they're not at all expensive. Now, three dollars each or three fifty each is a little bit less than normal, but these also have seen a little bit of use as well. Now, the Spartan, you have the usual Swiss Army knife blade, the the large blade, and it measures like two point four five inches. And as knives go, this is a pretty solid size for a pocket knife. It's not super heavy. It's like just a fraction over two ounces, and it's it's thin enough that I don't think it would have much of a like it shouldn't show up too much in your pocket I guess the term is printing I don't know anyway you shouldn't see a giant outline of a knife in your pocket so you have the large Swiss Army knife blade you have the small Swiss Army knife blade toothpick and ooh, like I said these are used and the toothpicks and tweezers, when I replace the scales, are very much being thrown away. So, toothpicks and tweezers. You have the usual Swiss Army knife can opener with the small regular screwdriver. You have the bottle opener. You have the bottle opener, larger regular screwdriver, and wire stripper. And on the back, you have the awl slash reamer and a corkscrew. And ew, it does need to be cleaned. Like I said, I haven't cleaned any of the four in the bag yet. So some of these need to be touched up for sure. But it gives you it gives you a lot to work with as Swiss Army knives go. I mean it's it's one of those things like okay. As I've mentioned before, I carry this on my keys. This is my Swiss Army knife that I carry every day. And this one has a lot of bells and whistles that I could probably survive without. I mean, like, for example, I could realistically lose, like, the pliers and the scissors. and It hurt me to lose the flashlight and the, the magnifying glass, but, you know, they could kind of go. And some of the stuff in the back. Mainly it's for the screwdriver, the knife... And the can opener and stuff. So, I mean, this has a lot going for it. And now, one thing that I want to point out: if you find some of these used, like I like I did, you can find them like on eBay. They're generally pretty cheap. And you want to sort of jazz it up or fancy it up. What I did was this is one of the ones that I've I've re I've cleaned and touched up and like rescaled and everything. And what you can do is, if you look around on eBay, there are places that sell replacement scales. And I think the one, this one I got was from Switzerland. And what you can do if you want, and maybe you, you may have noticed or may not have noticed, but this knife has the normal scales. And the scales that I replaced it with are the plus scales. And the Swiss Army Knife plus scales, what it is, is in addition to the toothpick which is brand new and not nasty like the other one and tweezers again brand new and not icky is <clears throat> it has space 
for the ballpoint pen and this is like a pressurized ballpoint pen and you also have a spot I don't know if you can see it from this angle but you see right here there's a spot in the scale for a stick pen and the stick pen it might sound weird but it's surprisingly useful a lot of times to have access to one of these and the other thing is I figured since I was replacing the scales and jazzing things up I'd get one of the little micro eyeglass screwdrivers for the corkscrew and put it in and so now the cost effectiveness of this is kind of questionable because I paid three dollars and fifty cents for the knife and the whole scales and replacement bits and stuff it ran like fifteen dollars so this knife cost me about eighteen fifty and you can get a brand new one of these for eighteen to twenty five dollars now the the plus version you might be able to find a plus version but the plus versions are almost always more expensive so it's kind of fun to do it so i mean i don't know i don't know what do y'all think is it worth it to breathe new life back into a swiss army knife into an old swiss army knife i don't know i'm pretty i'm pretty happy with this one and i mean you know i tried the i tried the yellow because it's different so i don't know and um i have a video that should be up or will be up soon about replacing the scales and all the steps that I went through to do it. So, you know, if you're interested, you can check that out. Anyway, let me know what you think. Is it, is the Spartan one of those, like, go-to Swiss Army knives that is a great starter knife? Or is it one that you still carry today? If you had a choice between the normal and the plus, is it worth it? Let me know in the comments. And um, if you've enjoyed this video, Please like and subscribe, and I hope you all have an excellent day.